Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Sorry, excuse me. I'm back. Well, sort of. <laughs> um, I came to do a um, haul of some goodies that I've been buying from Abby, who is um, now known as Curiously Abigail. She was known as Cat Paper Love, and then she changed her um, <clears throat> uh, her channel name. Sorry, this is the third time I'm recording, so I think this will be it. <laughs> uh, so I'm a little bit rusty on my videos. Most of you know you haven't seen me here for quite some time, maybe 10 months, almost a year. And I will get into that a little later. But for now, I just wanted to share what I've been getting from Abby. Um, she has been making, she's on this wonderful journey of making these plushies and felties. And they are so cute. And... I just wanted to share them. I've been trying to get um, as much pieces as I can. I think you remember her when I shared all the boba drinks that I ha was getting to build my collection. And um, she also made some other smaller ornaments. And now she, I got some of these big pieces. So this is the first one. And most of them are kind of... These big pieces were centered around Mickey. And so this is a snowman Mickey. He is so adorable. My grandkids love these pieces when they came. I had them out for the hall for Christmas time and they loved playing with them. So Abby makes them very durable, even for the kitties. So she um, sews on all the embellishments, the features, the buttons, the scarf. She stuffed them. Okay, so that's the snowman. This one is a gingerbread Mickey or this gingerbread mini so these little cuties have a scent to them they smell so good like cinnamon and you know after the holiday the christmas pass i still smell them okay so this is miss mini gingerbread so cute look at all her embellishments and this was a perfect um, material color for her gingerbread they look so realistic so pretty and then I have the Miss Mickey gingerbread. <clears throat> Look at that. It's so adorable. I just love them. So I packed them away. I'm going to pack them away and save them for this coming Christmas. Take them out again. This is part. I'll just show you the big thing. So these are more stuffy. So this is a chocolate chip cookie. And this is like a pillow. So cute. I'm not sure if my grandkids saw this one's yet. And then I also purchased a cookie, a sugar cookie. So it's a heart. And it has the edging that she sewed. And this is the cute face with all the sprinkles. So adorable. So thank you, Abby. I'm so happy I was able to get some of these pieces from her collection. She goes live and she posts them, countdown and posts them on her um, Instagram page. And I'll link all of Abby's social media down there. And then you have to lickety split, go and get what you want. Okay, so I am also in her Patreon group and um, she makes her members um, one-of-a-kind pieces that's not sold and so I think this was the oh, I can't even remember maybe the January one so these are cookies with the Mickey hats on them so cute look at that they're two stuck together with the sprinkles she sold them and the face two different faces so cute so they're like ornaments <clears throat> And then this one is also um, from, I think, November and December of last year. So this is the snowman and the gingerbread Mickey. So they're both Mickey ears, but snowman and gingerbread. So cute. Look at those cheeks. This was also part of, oops, <clears throat> of the Magic Maker. Uh, she calls it Magic Maker. She has different um, tiers, but her Magic Maker, I believe, shiny. That's one that gets these cute adorable pieces and then uh, she had a sale of these 
I guess they're Valentine's, so they're pears. So this one is pancake with blueberries and a pat of butter. That's a heart. Look how cute that is. Okay, and then I got the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And the taco and lime. This is really adorable. Oops, and then the donut and the mini donut. So precious, so cute. And then I think this came from her very latest sale. So she had this popcorn bucket. She had them on all different colors. So I picked the purple one with the stitching on the bucket and then the popcorn. And then I noticed, Abby, this is really nice, so professional. So she has her tag attached to her pieces now. And then these are the churros with the Mickey ears and it's a keychain. Okay, but look how adorable he is and so recently her last sale she had these guys in all different pastel colors so I couldn't pick any one so I just bought them all <laughs> so I'll share them when um, I do get them so she offered in like five different colors I believe and she always sends uh, little trinkets in her packages this one she loves to make little logo pieces so it's an acrylic so it, it can make into a keychain and I have some other pieces except I think I packed them away okay so that is Abby and I will list everything below so you can find her and I will leave these little critters right here while I do a little chat with you so I just wanted to come on really quickly not getting into you know being so long-winded but um, I wanted to first of all say thank you to all of my subscribers and um, I'm so happy that I've continued to grow and my new subbies and I'm really sorry that I've been absent I was um, going through a lot of life and family challenges that I needed to take care of and so my crafting took uh, really a backseat to everything um, a lot of you know my mother passed away two Christmases ago so not this past Christmas but the Christmas before in 2020 of December and right after my mom passed away <clears throat> my father seemed to be okay we buried her in January and then he went downhill and so my father suffers from dementia and his dementia is like it accelerated over the past maybe four months after that and it got to a place where um, he needed 24 7 care I couldn't leave him alone <clears throat> I would run back and forth to work, leave him alone for two hours, come back and, you know, get food ready so he can do it himself. You know, he was able to bathe and things like that. Um, but, you know, first we kind of attributed to depression, but as time went on, he got aggressive and paranoid and everything that happens when you're, you start advancing in stages of dementia. And it's no fault of his, it's just a disease and it's the frustration of can't remembering, you know, can't um, knowing what his daily life is. He forgets even he ate a meal an hour before. Um, he is on medication, which really helped his um, aggravation and his paranoia. He became a sundowner, which means that he stays up all through the wee hours of the night. Um, let's see. Uh, he just kind of forgot everything. He forgot who he, his wife, he forgot my mom passed his, you know, his wife passed away. He sometimes forgets who I am and my brothers. Um, my husband and I take care of him now. Um, and I've gone back to the office, but my husband takes care of my dad during the day. Um, bless his soul. I thank God for him. Um, so he's comfortable and uh, we watch him every day and we encourage him to try new things. We, we guide him. I guess we redirect him. We're learning a lot of the terminologies, terminology that goes with dementia patients and, you know, work closely with the doctor and take him for his tests and just uh, know what the symptoms are. I have close friends who are going through the similar things or have gone and they've been a tremendous help. Um, I've had support from you, my friends, my crafty friends, um, 
even checking up on me here and there on a daily basis. I thank God for you because um, you know you keep me, you miss me. <laughs> so you're checking up on me. So I super duper appreciate it. I hope to be back to crafting, hopefully in the summer. Um, a lot of you know that I was getting ready for a house move. I We packed up and we moved in November and I'm still trying to unpack my craft and um, just trying to, you know, go through every day is a new day for us. We, um, I think that's about it. You know, I went, Christmas came and went. I was getting ready for Christmas thinking, okay, I'm going to be a little late for things. Got my grandkids all set. But right after Christmas, right before New Year's, I caught COVID. And that was super unexpected. I was really surprised. I'm very careful about places I go, but this uh, virus spares no one. So as careful as I was, I did catch it. I think I caught it going in and out of marketing and stores. Um, I would be the one going in and out after work. Uh, my husband and my father would stay in the car and wait. Because um, I didn't really want to expose my father. We are all fully vaxxed. We're boosted. My whole family is. Even my grand, one of my grandsons are. Because he's already nine. The baby is not eligible yet. But um, I caught COVID. So I took me out for two weeks. I stayed home and I isolated for 10 days. And I felt so yuck. But um, I thank God I was um, not where I had to go to the hospital. Um, I recovered my husband and my dad who we all live in the same house thank goodness they did not catch covid no one at work caught covid from me because i went to work that day before um i saw my kids during christmas nobody caught covid everybody was fine and so um i thank god for all of those blessings and so he took me out you know god had a plan for me he wanted me to rest so i definitely did for two weeks and i'm back to work i'm trying to get it back into my routine I do have some post-COVID symptoms like I do I was telling some of my friends and um, that I have uh, brain COVID brain I guess that's what it's called um, it was like brain fog I just it's it's amazing <laughs> how when you experience it and even now I find myself struggling for words to say when before it could come out a little bit more fluently um, seems like my brain knows what to say, but it doesn't come out of my mouth that way. Um, I my heaviness in my chest has all is all gone. My fatigue is a little there, but it's not as bad. So I think I'm on the road of recovery. So I'll be okay. So as soon as I can get all my boxes and my craft room organized, I can start playing again and um, enjoy the little um, time that I can with craft because it does. Um, provide so much of a outlet for me of um you know just being by myself and just creating so but I just wanted to come here to share a little bit about what's been going on with me I'm here um I do see some videos some posts but I'm not really participating in any social media um so slowly by slowly I will get back I do have two videos to upload um of Christmas craft gifts that I did get and I will share them hopefully by the end of this week. But other than that, thank you all for um, spending this time with me. And I appreciate you all. I love you guys. And I will see you really soon. Bye.